make two holes on the back of the 9 volt, 9 volt battery holder. I've used a Phillips uh, screw to make the two holes. And now I'm going to solder uh, two wires inside. inside the case holder and pass it uh, through the holes now I have the two wires uh, soldered uh, into the 9 volt case holder uh, make a just a small hole on the cover here on the cover to get the wires out now that you have uh, your two wires on the through the hole uh, get a, a case holder for your batteries and uh, of course you will need uh, two batteries if I can open this battery holder uh, here two batteries And now, just to make a quick test, of course, you will only uh, use this for your cheap meters. You, do, you don't, don't want to do this with uh, an expensive uh, meter. But these meters are very cheap and they, they are I say, how do you say, expendable, no, uh, I don't know, descartable, just connect, uh, make sure it is turned off, and just connect the wires, I'm just making this to test, uh, to see if the voltage on the batteries are ok for the meter and now we are connected and voila now you have uh, your meter and a way to use uh, batteries from notebooks all I have to do now is to finish and make a something better, right? The mirror seems to be a bit crazy. Let me finish this and I'll show the final result. Here it is. I placed a velcro to hold the batteries. A piece of tape. And now I have a, a meter. seem to be working fine and just to check let me check the voltage on the battery that was inside uh, yeah here it seemed to be working fine no problem with the meter 
and now I can uh, you can have another way to use your lithium ion cells from old notebook batteries and you have a, a nice uh, stand for the meter so this is it uh, another way to use your lithium ion cells from old notebook batteries thank you for watching